Ooh, 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 ooh. Gonna sneak on over. Whoops. That hurt. That actually kind of hurt. Sorry. That's like the one torch I don't have yet, is the really long torch on a stick. Oh, they just really wanted that treasure! What were they trying to get their grubby little mitts on? Triple rings of light. Something my character will look at and just have a small aneurysm because he can't even fathom. Something that uses faith like that. A lot of people sleeping on the job here! What happened to Pride? Pride is a guard, come on. I don't think that's a safe place for me to throw myself right now. I leapt to this thing. I did that because I saw an item first, or because I just thought I could? Looks like I did it because I thought I could. At least there's a ladder. Snake eater! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, a bell! Now that. McQuellen Night Sword. It's a very pretty looking sword. I want to look at that one. Looks like it was a bit of a straight sword. Where are you, McKellen Sword? McKellen Knight Sword. Look at that. That's a pretty sword! Sword forged by servants of Makila of the Halic Tree. With a design modeled after those carried by carrion knights. Instead of glintstone, however, amber from the Halic Tree is embedded in the blade. A sumptuous piece, I'll say. Quite sumptuous. Yet it has never been offered to any knight. An ill-starred sword with no master. Sacred blade grants armaments, attacks, holy essence, and fires off golden blade projectile. The armament retains its holy essence for a while. Yeah, the, uh, the tail and astral, I can see that. It is a holy faith space sword. I like this one. If I were doing a, uh... A faith... I guess you could do... It's better strength scaling than dex scaling. It's a straight sword, though, so, like, as a strength build... I'm more inclined for ultra-great nonsense, but... Maybe, uh, maybe some straight swords are in my other character's future. Something incredible ahead. Oh, someone got it by doing this instead. Doing some rooting. It's true. I'm curious, like, it says it's modeled after a carrion sword. I wonder why. Did Makila have some, uh, some relationship with... Oh, I've already been through here! Oh, this is actually pretty perfect for me. I was thinking... I just skipped a bunch of things by going on the tree route. This lets me kind of finish what I was doing over here. Uh, day 1,376. Still no one's over here. Whoa, someone's behind me! Fuck! God! Fucking napping people get the drop of me all the time. You want to be not seen by me? Just take a nap, I guess. I straight up will not notice you. I apparently just incapable of noticing sleeping people. Why there be a secret? Oh, 
Well, that's the hole I dropped down into earlier. That's the big old stompy friend. Jumped onto that. I wonder if there's going to be an elevator for that. Maybe. Alright, we're back where we were. It's time to test this one out. Oh, very satisfying. Right, there's a red beetle. I remember seeing it. Kind of want that red beetle right now. I have what three? Oh, not you. We're close enough to you. Pretty sure I can stun lucky with my my sword. Oh yeah. God, this fucking spell's amazing. Oh, there were two of you were there. Oh, oh no, come on. It's so good. No, no, no. Oh, no. Input. Why? Well, I didn't really need healing potions anymore. I could find that red guy. <laughs> we could turn this around. My fingers did a bad thing just now. There is a part of my brain that has muscle memory for, like, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. Specifically, like, the input queuing. And so sometimes it's just like, doot, doot, doot. All right, that'll happen in a second. Uh-uh. You guys want to go? Let's go. That's right. I hear the beetle. I must. I must be able to see the beetle and shoot it. If I can get line of sight on this beetle. I can turn this all around. I think this is it. I think this is the road to, to my beetle. <gasps> there it is. Is this my best point of view? I think if I keep going this way, we might have a better shot. Oh, what happened? You were so confident with that charge. <coughs> oh, there's two of them here. <coughs> My joke about there only being two left was way more accurate than I thought it was going to be. I can't make that jump. And have horse here. Huh, how do I get this thing? Oh? Hmm, hold on. I suppose there's a way to be up on that upper wall area. At which point we could drop down onto any of these and get that. Oh god, I gotta be able to see that beetle and shoot that beetle. Everything hinges on killing this beetle. <gasps> there he is, there he is. Come on, lock on. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Come back up. Oh no. That's the worst outcome. Well, that beetle's gonna run away now. And there he goes. Well, that's probably fine. I'm sure that won't be a problem. How much more health could I possibly need? Come on! Rude! Goodbye. I don't want that item. Oh, a sleeping guy! My favorite! Noticed you that time, you little bastard. Alright, I can hop onto that, but that's just connected to that anyway. Still here in Beetle. There might be another health Beetle. I might... I might be able to turn this around. <gasps> oh no! History's worst enemies here. I hate you so much. I want you to know that. Oh, he just disappeared. Cool, yeah. You know how much I love that. Well, I'm not excited to see him here. It's the greatest hit. Oh, no. I wasn't ready for you. All right, let's be ready for any other clean rotten ice that might show up. Did you find the boss? The meatball thing? No, I, I got murdered by a giant crab before I could find it. So it's like teasing me. I could it's I could hear the flapping of the wings that's so close. Oh, that thing's even trying to reach me right now. That's even worse. God I hate them. Is directly above me. I hope it is a health beetle. I never want health beetles, but now I do. Okay. Could this be a treasure chest? No, it's clearly a table that got broken. And those are books. Come on! I don't even know what books are. Where is Beetle? It's a blue beetle. Life is pain. There is only suffering. Well, I'm happy I never got surprised by this earlier. Let's just go ahead and break your toys. Not that it matters. This is a nitpick of mine. I kind of wish that since it takes so much effort to break these, that it would have some sort of long lasting effect as opposed to just respawning like everything else. Like I put in the time, I put in the effort. They should stay dead. They should be permanently broken. You heard me. Okay, I can go up here. Obviously, we got down, which has items and enemies and... A big old door with a very large friend in front of it. Oh, I could jump over to that. Seems like a fun thing to do. Coming up here doesn't seem like it has too much benefit to me at the moment. 
Outside of getting a good view of items that I still have to collect. Praise the calmness. Oh, that was an inch away from disaster. Hallig Tree Night Helm. Calculated, exactly. I knew what I was doing the whole time. Break all this nerd shit. Ain't no nerds gonna be doing no reading on my watch. <gasps> oh, yeah! Now that... Is a clutch point of grace. That's interesting. This is not our, our destination, huh? I figured this would be the door. Oh, look at that beam of light, though, shimmering through it. That's nice. Have I, oh, I haven't taken my wonders physic yet. Does not respect the beam. A real disregard for the sanctity of my beam here. Uh oh. <laughs> I figure, like, I'm right next to the point of grace I just activated. This is the perfect time for this. Maybe I'll do meteors. Meteors have a good stun to them. The two crossbows are now respawned. Definitely want to keep that in mind. I ain't done exploring this dumb city yet. Alright, let's go for Astle's Meteor Swarm and see if uh, that performs well. <clears throat> I got Scarlet Rotted in that situation. Interesting. Probably should spend my souls, huh? That does a lot of stun. Has a lot of impact. We could just not get uh, caught in the cloud. Just gonna go ahead and uh, pick these up. Oh, I gotta do my, my placebo. Got to pick up your runes! Oh, sweet lord, no. <laughs> I thought I hit the button for pick up runes before I could start casting. That's alright. It's one level. That's not a big deal. There's no problem! Uncalculated. Very uncalculated. Well, that's a grim reminder of uh, one level's worth of souls right there. That's it! You're dead now! I got you now! I couldn't- I couldn't back out. Oh, it's okay, but I got him. It's all that matters. Lord's Rude. Let me go ahead and uh, fix that frame lock that happens. It's such a mystery. Like, it has to be a memory leak. That's the only thing that makes any kind of sense. Because it's like, oh, you played for three or four hours, suddenly a frame lock happens. What's the fix? Doing absolutely nothing outside of just taking the right length of time to do a couple of meditative actions that would definitely have no bearing on the game. Oh my god, Vampire Survivor's been open this entire time? Let's go ahead and close that.
I never quit out of Vampire Survivor. Apply. Wait for it to blink. That means it's applied. Click on Elden Ring. It freezes for a second. Stop freezing. And we're good. All right, how many runes did that guy drop? That that thing was worth zero, zero runes, really? That doesn't. That's weird. I thought maybe I'd get like, you know, at least a few. Oh, oh, these these boys hit hard. Frosty with me, friends. Oh, you get you get heals. That's fun. Oh, that's just all of my health, huh? I'm still sure that those crossbows are gonna unload on me. Oh, good. Go ahead and uh... Hey buddy Ah good enough for me As long as you're not shooting arrows at me Do it again oh, Great performance Get some help. Alright, we know one of those horrible multi-limbed super aggro nightmare beasts is on this path we're on right now. There's another tree guardian. Unlike the outer wall area that I think we can get to from here. Yep, there's the horrible thing. That's the problem. I don't like that. That's a hop down, though. That's fine. Let's see. How did I avoid this in the first place? Right. I went across it there. Golden rune. Uh, I hate fighting this thing. Let's go with a moon to open up. Make him weaker. To magic. Come on! <clears throat> Step into the light. Doesn't have the range for him. Oh well. <coughs> this will do. <coughs> oh, now Moon might be able to reach him. You bastard. God, I hate fighting those things. Oh no, hold on. You're trying to climb that ladder? Mm. 
Excellent. That's what I like. Murder the terrifying things from very far away. And now scoop up all the treasure that was being guarded by it. Ghost skill of Ort 9. I can get some pretty high level ghosts put together now. Ooh. Now that is a colorful item. What are you? A Lord's Rune. That's what we got from the big guy. Ooh, surprising, no, no runes. I really thought we should get something for killing him outside of just a poppable. Oh, come on, Crystallians. What are you even doing here? Ow. How did that kill me? Oh, it's a greatest hits of like the most terrifying and awful enemies. We got clean rot knights, giant tree beasts, the awful, awful multi limb bastards. These guys, which are basically like the black knight equivalents, are definitely not fun to fight. Oh god, I was gonna say the arrow should be coming any second now. Ooh, he's a yellow eye, though. Oh, give me that good extra soul. Damn! That guy's worth 30,000 on his own? That is quite the, the beefy, beefy rune count. They're supposed to only be worth five. But I guess that multiplier boosted him way up. That was an impressive amount. Gentlemen! A pleasure doing business with you. Is the horrible multi-limbed demon alive? Whoa, you guys are here. Nope, don't like that. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot you until you stop operating it. I think we got one of them off of it. Go to sleep. This is my favorite bow weapon art by far. Please let the horrible multi-limb demon not be alive anymore. Of course not. There can't be that kind of justice. Let's get my bow ready. No! Damn these fingers! And then the moon. And then the bow. Why? 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 Oh, he had glowing eyes too. That would have been quite the payday if he didn't teleport directly next to me. God, I hate them so much. God damn it, they suck. What if I were to sprint forward? Oh, 
god, just pick up your shit. Oh, oh, that's how much damage I take when I fall, is it? That's good. He's coming over to investigate. He wants to see what happened. Maybe provide mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and bring me back. That'd be good. Make up for all the wrongs he's done. I can survive the fall as long as I have enough help. Whoa, friend. Oh. Oh. Get up. Grab. Drink. Jump. Fall. That's the perfect place. Yes. Oh, baby. I'd like to see this piece of shit teleport to me now. He's teleporting. At least he tried. He's doing it again. He keeps teleporting. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? You can't teleport to me, you piece of garbage. Okay, I know I've said some pretty incendiary things, but have you considered just letting this go? How did I die last time? Crystallion. Crystallion. We gotta be ready for Crystallion. You see that smoke on the floor right there, right? That's another one of those multi limb pieces of shit. You know it. What happened? Not so fucking stealthy now, are you? Ooh. All right, there's a tell for them. I didn't realize that. There's like a distinct sound and like their colored smoke they are made of wisps out of the ground. That is nice to know. I had no idea that was the case. They've always just been an awful surprise for me. Oh, right, right, right now. No, I remember what this was now. Dude, run! There's like a fucking clean rot knight coming. Oh! Roth is the spell. The spell I'm gonna want for the Crystallion. Wait, are you are you are you kidding me? Do it. That's what happens. No. Bad. Alright, Crystallion's in there. My Cosmos ability, my Nebula ability, should be good for... ...taking care of Crystallion. Oh, there's... there's multiple! We just gotta break... The guard of the Crystallion, just the one time. There we go, alright, now we can do proper damage. And that should do it. Right, not too bad. You know, there's a second Crystallion in there. Third Crystallion in there. Is it one of every type? 
Yep, this would be the spear for Staley. Already knocked you down, huh? Crazy how that happens. Come get me. Next time, ask the room makers to make you a little bit more durable. Oh, it's not one of each. We got two chakra crystallions, one spear crystallion. Oh my god, that does so much! God, I hate the crystallions. Uh, well, we got through two of the three. We know there's more than one nightmare made of legs down there now. But we could avoid one of them. Ah, uh, I could do the run and jump, but... Off to a great opener. You're half my health, every hit. There we go, we got you in the stun lock pattern now. All right, one more. That's cool, that's one way to open up. Please. Be reasonable here. Just, just the best to have you do that. I'm going through all my resources. The answer is this. I should, I should not even bother with others. This is how we deal with the scary knights. They don't know how to fight back with that one. And now I gotta rest. I wasted all my resources on two knights. God damn. This place is scary. It's a problem zone. All right, one's in great bow mode, that's good. One is ready to oh counter me I guess that's cool too stop absolutely not listen could you uh yeah that that works great that's very good you kind of forgot that we were fighting I like that because now we could do this there's no getting out of this. There we go. All right. Next up, they're solving this problem. All right, both of you are coming down. Both of you are dead. Next up. One, two. One, two. Now our only other problem is the horrifying demon down there. Wish there was a better solution for the horrifying demon. No, this could be a solution for the horrifying. Demon. 
because this is a thick enough ledge that I should be able to cast magic without falling off from here. How did that, how did that miss? Where did it go? Went all the way back there? Okay, we got a hit. Mm. This is working for me. You might not be the biggest fan of it, my friend. But I'm digging this. Stay locked on. Nope. Not that guy. The demon! You see the thing with 97 arms game? Oh, you're killing me now. You know what? Good enough. Good enough for government work. There we go. Jeepers. You're gonna need enough of this to kill the Crystallians. I can't have you wasting it on me. I kind of tempted to ignore the Crystallians, but all of my runes are in there. Alright. Oh. Oh, well, if I'm allowed to summon Tish. Good lord. I'm gonna summon fucking Tish. Tish, that's one. We got a couple more to go. Oh, Jesus, Tish. Where's the door? Tish is blinking out. There we go. Tish, I know you wouldn't be able to make the trip if I went in there, so... We'll get that party started for you. Doing great, Tish. Ooh, rotten crystal spear. I mean, I should not cast the beam, right? Tish, can you push her a little bit closer to the door? That seems close enough. Alright, I see it missed entirely. That's good. Ah, Tish has got this. Ooh. Tish. 
Teesh. <laughs> I think we're good. I can't imagine there being more crystallians in this goddamn building. It had to just be those crystallians. Okay. Was it worth the. Uh, no! Turtle meat? That was... Mm, no, thank you. That was not worth the struggle. Those crystallians were guarding garbage. Monstrosity head, therefore try cramped area. I'm looking for that smoke. There's the smoke. I'm out of blue Estus, too. Fuck. Ah, oh, I hate him. But if we can get the drop on him, it's easy peasy. No problem as long as we know they are coming. Aeonian Butterfly, those are always nice to have more of. Another one. Oh my god, oh my god. This is my one hope. You! Damn it! I hate you so much! Alright, I don't have to do the Crystallians. With the Crystallians out of the way, we can get back to this point pretty easily. God, it's a gauntlet down here. I'm gonna reach the other end, and it's gonna be like, you found mushroom. Alright, well start off with our first two challenges. Douchebag A. Eh? Hello there, Ephemeris. Mushroom, mushroom. Uh, that's still like, I think the golden age of the internet for me is that, that period. Oh, oh. Oh, come on! Why? How are they better at dealing with my big ol' Frosty Blade than the Clean Rot Knights? I hate these guys. There's gotta be a wall with a sign that says secret. But like that particular period uh, where we had like Badger Badger. All that good stuff. Alright, well if I don't have souls I care about anymore. Oh, well. Well, uh, you know, that's cool, too. That's the go-fast method right there. But, uh... That particular period of the internet was great for just... All of the cool animation that was happening. Oh, they're doing... They're doing the right thing. Like, they're keeping their shield up and they're impaling me on a stick that has a spike on the way. It's what you want to do. The internet was still relatively innocent back then. Not just innocent, like, it was just a great time for animation. Like, there were so many cool animations happening on the internet. A lot of fun experimental animation was going on. I remember Albino Black Sheep, uh, Bitey's Castle. Stick Fight. I have a, a great deal of, like, nostalgia for just the animation scene of that period of the internet. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, someone wants an award for most annoying archer. Yeah, what happened to the Bitey's Castle guy? Cool, yeah, mm-hmm. I just kind of assumed he would be behind me. Oh, you're truly the worst fucking thing. Oh, cool. Out of mana. Good. You haven't heard Bidey's Castle reference in a long, long time? Yeah, right? He was working for a major studio at the time. Yeah, I'm like curious, like, did a project outside of Bidey's Castle happen that I missed? Because I would like to, like, look up and see. Oh, not that time, you piece of garbage. Asshole, come on over. Oh, yeah, it disappeared. Oh, he's up here now. Where is he? Back down there, are ya? There we go, that's what I want to see. Your gross ass stuck there. The trick to these guys is to get their health to zero. Is that how it works? When they are already pre-existing, they have such insanely high poise that it's really hard to stun them. But like, when I am ready and I know where they're going to spawn, I can get the drop on them and kill them without too much trouble, as we will now see up ahead. Yeah, bro, if you discover, like, anything they've done since Bidey's, post in the Discord. I should really just do a Google search myself at some point. Now that I know that you can see where they're gonna pop out of the ground in advance, that makes my life a lot better. Fuck you! Good night, Quark. Sleep well and have a pleasant night. Pleasant dreams. No! You're supposed to wait until I get closer! No! You should have waited! Oh, that's good enough. Works for me, I guess. Sleep well, Quark. Mother of God! Yes, that's all I needed. He got up so fast! Oh my God, why? Why? Why does he suck so much? I can summon Tisha though? I'm just gonna bring Tisha. When he's doing the 97 slappy hands, rolling toward would get me killed just as surely as rolling away. Oh, 
you tell me how to pronounce my daughter's name. Yeah, I imagine it's pretty old. You like that? You like that? Could you please? Which channel to put in? You can put it in a watch and read box. Or a main, like just shaken box general. What kind of shot was that? Come on. I'm not sure I know what show you're talking about, Iron Core. Step one complete, I guess. How many little markers for summoning Tisha are there? We're good. We could summon her now. We could summon her. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is it just the entire little canyon we're in? I'm worried I'm gonna summon her and then not be able to keep her. I feel like people don't do the same kind of fun stuff with HTML5 as they did with Flash. I agree. 100% I agree. Oh, I'm not sure I saw that ever. And these days you could do... You could use professional... Yeah, like, there's a lot more tools for animation, but... I really feel like the animation scene... If I had to, like, hazard a guess... And put a bit of a timeline together... <coughs> you had Flash largely hosted on stuff like um, <coughs> Albino Black Sheep personal websites um, fucking Newgrounds all that kind of stuff YouTube kind of became the primary scene YouTube was good for animators for a while monetization wise and then YouTube stopped being good for monetization, for animation specifically. I think that was like partially the death knell for a lot of that kind of animation. It didn't kind of, it didn't roll back like I hoped it would to smaller websites after YouTube uh, destroyed being able to monetize being an animator on their platform. Like I remember Ego Raptor. Aaron Hansen would talk a lot about how it just wasn't viable anymore. How about a black sheep was great. Jeez, please. Yeah, Flash was awful to work with, having tried to use Flash before. But for some reason, it had a great, like, indie scene for just animators doing fun stuff. Eighties and nineties for me were cartoons, X-Files. I was, I was pretty set in my watching ways at that point. Finally made it to this end. Jesus. So much good science. Alright, what what was the prize? What was coming here for? 
Marika's Sora Seal. We have Radigan's Sora Seal. Oh. Oh. This legendary talisman is an eye engraved with an Elzun rune, said to be the seal of Queen Marika. Greatly raises mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane, but also increases damage taken by a similar measure. Solemn duty weighs upon the one beholden, not unlike a gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. There's still new stuff on Albino Black Sheep? That is amazing. 